Drinking again, eh? The Bar, written by a convict in Joliet, Illinois prison. The name of each saloon's a bar, the fittest of its name by far. A bar to heaven, a door to hell, whoever named it, named it well. A bar to manliness and wealth, a door to want and broken health. A bar to honor, pride and fame, a door to grief and sin and shame. A bar to hope, a bar to prayer. A door to darkness and despair. A bar to honor, useful life. A door to brawling, use senseless strife. A bar to all that's true and brave. A door to every drunkard's grave. A bar to joys that home imparts. A door to tears and aching hearts. A bar to heaven, a door to hell. Whoever named it, named it well. Alcoholism, a disease? If it is a disease, it is the only disease that is contracted by an act of will. It is the only disease that requires a license to propagate it. It is the only disease that is bottled and sold. It is the only disease that requires outlets to spread it. It is the only disease that produces a revenue for the government. It is the only disease that provokes crime. It is the only disease that is habit-forming. It is the only disease that is spread by advertising. It is the only disease for which we are fine for contracting. It is the only disease which brings death on the highways. It is the only disease without a germ or virus cause. And for which there is no human corrective medicine. And last but not least, it is the only disease that bars the patient from heaven. For no drunkard shall inherit the kingdom of God except there is repentance. 1 Corinthians 6, 9-10. through 10. The Bible declares, All have sinned, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans three twenty three. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Jeremiah seventeen nine. For there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Ecclesiastes seven twenty. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity. Of us all, Isaiah 53, 6. The Bible declares sin's penalty, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, Romans six twenty three. The Bible declares sin's penalty must be paid, and almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood there is no, is no remission. Hebrews 9, 22. The Bible declares sin's penalty was paid, but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. For Christ, hath, Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, 1 Peter 3, 18. Here, is, here in his love, not that we love God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins, 1 John 4, 10. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he may be the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Hebrews 2, 9. The Bible declares we must repent, for godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation. Not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. 2 Corinthians seven ten. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon, Isaiah 55, 7. The Bible declares we must receive Christ. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, John 1, 12. There's a big difference between acknowledging and receiving. Neither, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved, Acts 4.12. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life, First John 5.11-12. through 12. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. John 3.36, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. John 14.6, the Bible declares you can be saved today if you want to be saved, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 
For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, Romans 10, 13. God loves you and wants you to, wants you to experience peace and eternity in heaven with him. What must you do? Admit your need. I am a sinner. Be willing to turn from sin. Repent. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross. Through prayer, invite Jesus to come and control your heart and life. Receive him as Savior and Lord. Dear Father, I know that I'm a sinner and need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus died for my sin. I am willing to turn from my sin. I now ask Jesus Christ to come into my heart and life as my personal Savior. I am willing by God's grace to follow and obey Christ as the Lord of my heart and life.